We're gonna start with making our resin black. And this is an Illumilite product. This is basically just a resin dye. So we're gonna scoop a tiny bit out. If I had to say like specifics, I'd say probably like a pea size amount. I'm using a silicone spoon so I can easily reuse this again for mixing purposes down the line. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my part A and my part B resin directly into that black resin dye. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this directly into my molds and let one set cure completely. Once one of the sets is completely cured, you can go ahead and pop it out of the mold. And then using the complete opposite side, specifically for the leaping reindeer here, I'm gonna go ahead and pour resin into that side. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a necklace um, bale. They're meant usually for the back of jewelry, but we're gonna use it to create an ornament uh, loop at the very top of our little leaping reindeer. Once the resin is cured, you can pop those out. For the most part, these come together pretty seamlessly, but if you have any space in between, you can always use a little E6000 to glue them together. Also, cast a bunch of black frames, and we're gonna pair those with a couple of the different Christmas 2023 IOD transfers. We're gonna go ahead and start by painting all of our bases with a matte black chalk paint. It's the closest in color to the cast resin, so it worked out perfectly. Then go ahead and adhere all of your molded elements to the front of your dried blanks and ornaments, and I'm just centering them off using tight bond as my adhesive. Now it's time for some glitter and glam using the Posh Chalk Pale Gold Pigment Powder as well as Pigment Infuser. It's a really, really rich and opaque gold, perfect for embellishing all of the high points in your ornaments. So I'm just going to finger embellish all of that gold onto all of the ornaments and molded elements as well.
Once the infuser is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat the entire ornament. You can actually just do inside the little framed window if you want to, or if you wanna hit the entire piece, you can. But keep in mind, anywhere you're going to add an image transfer has to have at least one coat of top coat so that you have a really nice slick surface for the transfer to stick to. Now it's time for us to go ahead and cut our transfers down so that they fit perfectly in the framed windows. Using a piece of scratch paper and my fingernail, I just indent the paper and cut it so it fits perfectly in there and that becomes my template for my transfers as I go forward. Once you've applied your transfer, you can go ahead and apply top coat to the top of that. I'm also going to drill in some holes and add some eye screws at the top of these larger blanks so that I can hang them from ribbon on the Christmas tree. The other ones are great. They have little holes. You can go ahead and just add a jump ring and your sweet little gold ornament hooks and you're ready to rock and roll for Christmas. Happy holidays, you guys. See you next time.